as I've been editing, I've been noticing areas that I would definitely like to improve in these streams. I'm talking off the top of my head, so it's hard to research in advance for whatever I might say in this stream. There are some important subjects that I brought up in the previous stream that I felt like I wasn't able to handle adequately. For instance, I was talking about archaeology and how archaeology confirms the existence of certain Old Testament characters. Couldn't remember the specific circumstances that I was thinking of. So I've been doing some research since then to be better prepared this time. I still can't remember the specific Old Testament character that I was thinking of, but I found a document that gives several examples of similar situations. There's been some items discovered by archaeologists called the City of David Bulla. A bulla has to do with sealing and authenticating documents. In ancient Israel, they used to seal letters with clay. In reference to medieval era, you sometimes see uh, documents sealed with wax. And even today, I think if, uh, if you want a really nice fancy touch on some message you're sending to someone, you might seal it with wax and there will be a fancy design engraved on the wax seal. And in ancient Israel, they could use clay for this sort of thing. And the design on the clay would give the name of the person that the document was intended for and only that person was supposed to break that clay seal and that clay seal was called a bulla b-u-l-l-a that's the way we spell it you have the ring that was used to seal the item that had the inscription on the ring and then when it was pressed into the bulla it would put the inscription on the bulla so they found some of these seals in an area called the city of david it's a part of jerusalem where you'd expect officials to be doing business once these bulla got broken they'd be discarded and now we're finding these items in archaeological sites in this area and there are some names of biblical figures who were royal officials or priests that were found on these city of david bulla and the document i found talking about this is called 16 strong identifications of biblical persons plus nine other ids in authentic northwest semitic inscriptions from before 539 bce so that's a mouthful it's a free document you can look it up on the internet I can link it in the description and you don't have to register like you sometimes have to in order to read some of these papers. I was able to download it completely free. I think it explained well what the archaeological proofs were for these people who were, like I said, they were not kings. Some of the people mentioned in the paperwork are kings, like King David or I think King Hezekiah might have been listed as one. Some who were really famous in the Bible, but then there are some officials who the average person uh, doesn't know their names. You have to be really familiar with scripture if, if these names are going to be familiar to you. So like a fellow named uh, Hilkiah, one named Gemariah, and I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing these properly. All from a time when Israel was not serving the Lord. As a result, God was telling them that they were going to be captured by Babylon. In the book of Isaiah, Jeremiah, 2 Kings talks about this era of Israel's history. So in the Bible, that's where you find them. And then we're actually finding archaeological evidence of their existence. And I think when you're looking at archaeology, it's really nice to have the names of some of the famous people of the Bible, like David. Oh yeah, that, that one everyone knows. So now we can actually prove that he's real. That's really nice. But the problem with someone that famous in the Bible is that if anyone wants to forge the Bible's accuracy, if they want to make a, a false document, David is the, the name they're going to go for because everybody knows about David and Goliath. Or they're going to, to pick a famous name like Jesus. Everyone knows that Jesus was in the Bible. So I think those famous ones are really good chances for forgery, unfortunately. They're the ones that you want to hear about, but also they're the, the ones are most likely to be falsified. So the less famous ones, it's, it's especially nice to get proof of them because it's less likely that someone would think to forge those people. You don't get as much clout for proving the existence of one of them as you do of someone like David or King Hezekiah is a big name, not as big as David in our culture, but he would be another one I would expect to be more forgeable. Not to say that every proof of David and Hezekiah and Jesus is a forgery. There were some examples of David and Hezekiah in this document I found that seem pretty credible. But the nice thing is when it's not just the famous ones, when it's the small ones also who are being proven. 